Good morning, class. Good morning. It's a habit. How are you? Stay, stay. All right. Hi, Jasmine. Hello, teacher. How are you? I am hot and cold. Um, I am cold because here it's raining. Well, yeah, really, I'm not cold, but it's it, the in this moment. What do you think? It, it's okay. We have hot and we have cold, and what's in between? I don't know, teacher. We can say it's cool. Oh, it's C-O-O-L, cool. it's cool. It's cool in this moment. Okay. So cool is not hot, but it's not cold. It's, it's not very cold, it's, it's okay. All right, <clears throat> how are you, Oscar? Hi, I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I don't know what's wrong with my webcam. Can you hear me? No, yes, yes, I can hear you. Okay. Good, Oscar. All right. And Luis Mesa, how are you? I'm fine. Yes? Yes, yes, I'm fine. Today's Tuesday. Yes, it is. Yes. All right. Milton, how are you? Oh, okay, Milton, maybe he's not listening. Okay. So yeah. Jasmine, uh, there you go. How is your how are you, Milton? I'm so fine. Thank you. And you? How are you? I'm 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 good too. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad to be here. All right, nice to have you, sir. All right, Jasmine, so everything else okay? Yes, teacher. All right. Okay, where is everybody today? I only have four people. Hmm, let's wait maybe one or two minutes and see what happens. Okay, um, anything special today? Anything different? Hello, uh, Jose Perez. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. How was your day? How is tired. I I'm look sorry. tired, or or you're tired. I feel tired. I I work hard all day. In your beauty supply business. Yes, I I have to buy some things, and it's not easy. Uh, work with the with the suppliers. Oh yes, suppliers are difficult. Negotiate with, with them. Yes. Oh, yeah, I could imagine. Uh, Yesenia, are you there? Yes, good evening. Hi, how are you, Yes? Fine, thanks. And you, teacher? I am okay. Wait, wait, which Yesenia are you? <laughs> I have two Yes, I have Yes. Yes, and okay. you know, I, I have a problem with that sometimes. Sometimes people change their name, or sometimes they put Huawei P30. <laughs> so I, I don't know who I'm talking to. But Yesenia, you're not the Yesenia with your mother sick, correct?
Hi, Flor, how you doing? Hi. Hi, I am, I am practicing the platforma all day. Today, today we can do the platform if you want. Everybody together. Yes. Okay. yes All right. Please, we, yeah, I, I saw that today and I'm sorry. I saw it on the chat, but um, I saw it on the chat, but I didn't have time today. What? Not time, but I don't know today, maybe three or four times the electricity got cut off in my house. Uh, the blackouts. Do you know what is a blackout? No. No. Black, blackout when the electricity, poof. Oh, like the splash. No. Mm, oh. No, you know, blackout is like everything's black now. Huh? Like if the electricity, ah. <laughs> yeah, like if the electricity right now stops, it's a blackout. There's a blackout. Ah, okay. Because we are at night. But yes. in the day, it's different. Mm -hmm. You can say this too. Power outage. Oh. Power, power, power outage. Yeah. Power outage. So today, um, there was a power outage in my house. Um, I have a question. Somebody in this group works in a bank? Yes, I have. I have been working until I am employed. Oh, okay. But you work in a bank in this moment? No. No, no, right now, no. Okay, but I have a question. Let's say a bank opens from 8 to 5, correct? Yes. Normally, yes. So what happens if I go to the bank at 4.30? Do they let me in? No, because uh, all the banks are opening to to 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., I think. Really? I think I think it depends uh, how many people are in. No, in because they they right they now, close no. they cl they close at three p.m. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Oh, all, you all know. The new, even there is no one in in the bank. Yes, it's closed. They they are closed. Oh, it's good. It's good of you to tell me because. I was checking on the internet and it says 5 p.m. Banco Cuscatlan. So I was last making. Week I got, last I'm going week to call I, went, I, I went to the I went to the one of them bank and at 4 p.m. and it was closed. Okay, good to know. The Thank you. The security the security guards they said said me uh, it's clo it's closed at 3 p.m. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, if, if you arrive arrive around two p.m., uh, the security don't. Uh, um, they don't let me in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's my question. Yeah, the the banks now they work similar to the government. Yes. Yeah, yes. you're right. Similar to the government. Yeah, because in those days. Yeah, but in, in, the the next week, this, I guess uh, maybe is normal. But this, the, the, this the better if you if you go to the bank at nine p.m. I think uh, before nine p nine yeah. p.m. Yeah, that, that's the problem though. I can't. Uh, well, let me see. because um, I I stop working at four. Oh, and what about that at at noon? I don't think I can go and come back to the bank in one hour. And that's the problem. Yes, yes, this is very difficult. difficult. And the problem is, I lost my my debit card. And what what kind of transaction of transaction do you have to to do? Transaction. Uh, transaction. My I can't. I lost my debit card. Ah yes, it's necessary. Your you have to you have to get a new one. Yes. A reposition. How yeah. do you say mm -hmm. uh, reposition? A reposition, it's good. Is it necessary in your presence? 
Yeah. Yes, because that's you the have problem. To, you have to sign, decide the, the, the papers. The documents and everything. Uh, oh, wow. All right, thank you. So let me see. So, oh, now, okay, good. Now we have more people. What is, you know, what is one thing you have no patience for? Uh, to do a queue. I don't like to do queues in the banks or in the supermarket. Okay. Everywhere. I have a problem with the supermarkets. I remember, well, now it's normal, but remember maybe two or three months ago with the pandemic when only it was according to your Dewey? No. Yeah, it was, it was only your Dewey that you can go out. Remember going to the supermarket yes. and seeing that line? Like, oh my God. I, <laughs> mm, I hate that. I hate that. Yeah, I don't, me too. I, I tolerate many things, but I don't like lines. Yes. Or cues like you I think I think we 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 waste too much time. Yes. Have you been to Claro recently? To Claro? No. No. Oh, recently man. not. Every well I think there's only three Claros open. Um yes. in Metro Centro. Um, Metropolis is one of them. Oh, really? Yes. Well, there was only like three or four Claros open and, oh man, there was this ridiculous line. Um, I lost my phone. I have a contract with Claro and I lost my phone. So I needed a new phone, you know, with my insurance. Yeah. I went three days and, and there was a ridiculous line. That is the reason you have to use people. I, I will. Yeah, you better have to, to change the operation. Yes. Yeah, I will change to Tigo. Yes. No, it's true. Well, you see, the problem is I, I have had Claro ever since it was Telecom. Mm. I, I, I think forever. Yes. I've had. Yes. Yeah. So. Yeah. But, but I, I think uh, because of the pandemic, uh, and the, the this telecommunications, the communicator operators just has a few a store open. Yes. 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 So oh okay. Yes, but next time I, I promise I will go with Tigo. Yeah, you, you met more T, more people in Tigo than Claro. Yeah, I know more people in Tigo now. Yeah, this is true. No, and, you, and, have, um, you have to do a portability. Maybe, <laughs> yes, maybe we can help you to do that. Yes, the customer, <laughs> the customer service of Claro is very, very bad. Yes. It's very bad. The, the internet in Claro is very, very bad too. It is? Yeah. But listen. In, in my case, in my case. I don't know. Now you tell me. Some people say that Tigo pays Claro for the internet. No, or Tigo has their own satellites. Tigo has their own network okay. to give service of, of uh, I think the, the technology is different. Tigo use H, HFC, mm -hmm. I think, and Claro use another one. Mm. So I know is. I think it was better in in this situation, but I, to be honest, in in some locations. Yeah, I think that's the problem. Depends on your location, right? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you're right. Okay. In my in my case, uh, Claro is is too bad. Uh, I changed my service with a local Hi, company. And it's better. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was well. What is that voice? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, no, it's okay. No problem. Um, so remember, what were we doing yesterday? 
Do you remember what we were practicing yesterday? We talk. We talk, we talk. about adverbs. Adverbs and adjectives. Uh, and about the verb get and the different way to use it. Okay. Yes. Yes. Remember. Um, so what is the difference between an adverb and an adjective? Yes. I think an adverb qualifies the verb and adjective qualify a noun or or object. I don't so I don't remember. Is that correct? Yes, yes. I think the same. So an adverb qualifies a verb. This is referred to a verb. Very good. And the adjective qualifies? A noun Nouns. or an adjective? A noun, good. Oh, yes. uh, I don't know if remember you said uh, an adverb described a person, a place, or something. Yes, um, um, an, an adjective describes an object or a person, basically. And what are the three uses of get? Well, what happens when you use get in an adjective? So like a, a status change? Yes, a change of state. Change of state, okay. And depending, you know, um, uh, depends on, on, the, on the tense too. So for example, Josue Perez, what happens if you drank one complete bottle of vodka? I get drunk. You get drunk. In a short time. Yes. yes. Yeah, you get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, yeah, because what is the change? What is the status change in that in that example? My status of my you change from my sober. Conscience. Oh, yeah, but the change is from sober to drunk. Oh yes, yes. So sober to drunk. Yeah. Okay, no, that was that was very good, Josue. You said I get drunk. So then the change is sober. So from sober to drunk, okay? Okay. Madeline, are you there? Yes, I'm here. All right, Madeline, what happens if you eat donuts for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day? Mm, I will have a, a high sugar <laughs> levels. Okay, but physically, what happens to you? Um, I don't know. I remember. I remember, we're practicing get an adjective. I I get a I get a high highly a high. Um, don't call me. You, you get fat. <laughs> I get fat. Yes. Okay. You get fat. You get sick immediately. <laughs> Yeah, you get yeah. fat, you get sick. In everything, a couple of squid. <laughs> In every, a couple of squid. Everything negative. Did you watch that documentary about this man who ate McDonald's every day for two or three months, I think? <coughs> for size me. Yeah. yeah. It was um, awful. But that was very stupid because it's obvious. I always said that that was ridiculous because of course you get fat if you eat hamburgers every day. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to to demonstrate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alexandra, how are you? Hi, I'm pretty good. What about you? I'm okay. Alexandra, how how do you spell your last name? O Q U E N D O. Okendo, yes, I remember. Mm -hmm. Because your grandparents are from Spain, right? Yes. 
All right. Alejandra, what happens? Alexandra. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Alexandra. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really I hate that. that. <laughs> okay. It happens. Yes. Yeah. Okay. No problem. No, no, I'm sorry. No, no, it's true. <laughs> okay. I have a problem. My last name is Baltrons, and they always put me Beltran. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alexandra, what happens if you what happens if you um run for two hours? Mm, I get tired, could be. Okay. Or I get fit. Okay, good. Or you get fit. Nice. All right. What would happen if you meet Morbid Angel? Sorry? You told me that you like Morbid Angel, correct? Mm, morbid Angel, <laughs> not too much, really. You you know who I met one time in a pupuseria? Kit Sandoval. No, no. Uh Luzbel. Ah, Luzbel, the Mexican band. Yes. Heavy metal Mexican. Mm -hmm. I was actually I, I, I actually had beers with them and I, I don't know who they are. <laughs> who? Yeah, it was funny because um my friends they have a pupuseria in in Los Planes, it's called Los Bungalows. Ah, it's a nice one. Actually. Yeah, so we went to eat dinner and I had a shirt. And it's funny because my shirt, it was you too. Mm -hmm. So we were eating and suddenly this five ugly men, <laughs> ugly, satanic, gothic men, no, it's not satanic. Not no. Gothic. Oh. <laughs> Luzbel, and it's not satanic. <laughs> well, maybe the name, yes, but not the music, because it's just heavy metal. Yeah. Yes, it was heavy metal. But the funny part was that they looked heavy metal, right? And my shirt was you, too. <laughs> and, and then they walk in, and the singer, yeah, you, too, you, too. <laughs> I was <laughs> really <laughs> you like that okay yes you too and you said you said teacher Maluma baby <laughs> yeah no I no. I was I, I actually told him I'm a thank you uh, next yeah I actually told him I'm a big fan and I don't know who they are but, but they no. were just, they were good people they were very nice <laughs> uh, but I think the singer he was very drunk because he kept, yeah. on, he kissed my shirt like five times. You too. Oh. I went, okay, bye. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but did you hear? Did you hear the adverb I used? Suddenly. Suddenly. Yeah. 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 Suddenly. So I was eating pupusas with my with my wife. I think, but that time she was my girlfriend, and suddenly, I see this five a group of five men like really ugly men like makeup and dark and, and i said oh my god that's so cool but uh, and and they went to eat pupusas it was after the concert so which maybe, band do you see luzbel ah luzbel so, yeah, did you so, see them live no i saw no, them just in, in the boxeria oh, okay okay yeah no, I saw them after in YouTube, Luz Bell. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Have you ever met somebody famous? Mm, well, I met a Warcry band. Do you know that? Oh, yeah. It's Warcry. a heavy metal in, from Spain. Yeah. I had a meet and greet with them. It was really cool. And I met a Epica. It's a gothic band oh, from Netherlands. I, I love that woman. Simone Simon's really pretty. Right. But I prefer Mark Jansen, for sure. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I, I met, met him. I met The Undertaker. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That guy is really cool. 
<laughs> but it was funny. Class, do you know the Undertaker, the wrestler? Do you watch wrestling WWE? Class, hello, hi. Yes, we watch. Have you His heard of is, is very tall. Yes, and I was I was maybe this was a long time ago. But the Undertaker has been like for 30, 40 years wrestling. But I was very little. I was maybe 15. And I was in the airport with my mother. And suddenly in, in the Miami airport. And suddenly I see this tall man, very tall, with red hair and a hat. But he was, he was not white, he was red. And I recognized the tattoos. <laughs> and I said, oh my God, mom, mom, what? That is the Undertaker. Oh my God, I think that's the Undertaker. And um, I remember I went to him and I was scared. I was, hi, excuse me. <laughs> and he turned around and he was very nice and normal. Me salió tan normal como, hi. Me decepcionó. Yo lo esperaba que me saliera, yes. So he gave me an autograph. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, yeah. But no, he said, hi, where are you going? I'm like, oh, I'm going to El Salvador. He said, oh, that's great. Gave me the whole clima, something I forgot. But he gave me his autograph. So I met the undertaker. Hmm. Suddenly. All right. Um, somebody else, have you ever met somebody famous? Do I have bad audio or you're not listening class or something because, hello? You have a problem. Yeah, I think you have bad right now. Yes. Because uh, we hear, we oh, hear part yes. of, the, of you. Mm -hmm. Yes, I see. Okay, hold on please. Can you hear me now? Hello, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. It's not clear right now. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, please tell me if if my voice breaks, tell me, okay? Because I don't know. I have Claro internet. Para que se hacten los de Tigo. <laughs> <laughs> Another reason to in be with us, <laughs> actually. In which song, song do you live, teacher? Do you do you know the ex Rancho de Navarra? Yeah. Ah, yes, yes, I know. Um, well, yeah, I live I live behind and what by the Jaguar Paso del Jaguar Circle. Mm. It's Pista Hermosa, That's right? Pista Hermosa, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I live in okay. Pista Hermosa. So I live one block from um, from Rancho Navarra. Because because this this uh, soon uh, have a 
have a, is stay under this the this the colleen it's, it's correct said the colina colleen you can say hill here okay here i think that since the the signal is is very bad in in these kind of places yes but also i i think that um it's raining like here right now it's not raining ah, but okay. No, but right now in La Vista Hermosa, it's not raining, but I imagine somewhere in El Salvador it's raining. And maybe there's an interference, maybe. Or Claro is very bad. Yeah. Okay, we're going to watch a video. Okay, please tell me if you cannot hear it. Okay. All right, cool. Let me share my screen with you. Do you see it? Yeah, I yeah, can see it. Yeah. What about these two people? What the have they been doing? All right. What have you been doing? Keep that in mind. We'll talk about that, okay? I'm going to press play. Claro connection. <laughs> the idea is for you to understand what's going on and also to practice now we can hear for a relative. Once you do that, we want you to play the second part of the conversation. This time, we want you to listen to the following conversation. The idea is for you to understand what's going on and also to practice it with a friend or a relative. Once you do that, we want you to play the second part of the conversation and get ready to answer the question I have for you. What have you been doing? Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, Gina. I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. What has happened to Pete and Gina since they last saw each other? Please write your answer on our discussion box. Part B. Listen to two other people at the party. What has happened since they last saw each other? Bob, how's it going? Pretty good, thanks. I haven't seen you for a while. What have you been up to? Well, I've been looking for a house to buy. I finally found one last month. That's terrific. Yeah, I'm really tired of renting. So what have you been doing lately? Well, I just got back from a vacation in Italy. Italy? Where in Italy? Mostly in the north, around Milan. I have a cousin there. I see. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was great. In fact, I just got engaged to a guy I met there. You're kidding. Well, that must have been some vacation. Okay, did you hear that? Yeah. Yes, I can. So what do you think is... What have you been doing? What do you think is the grammatical explanation for that? Do you know? I try to find a way to explain in English. <laughs> yeah, yes. No, okay, good. That's that's what I want. That's how you practice. Try to explain in English. But I think it's, it's, it's something that you are 
doing in um, in the last uh, few months or something like that. Well, it depends okay. the, the 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 background. Okay. Somebody else? Good, good. Thank you, Oscar. Okay. For, for me, it's referred to a. Um, it's a formal way to to ask some somebody uh, about the action that the the people the people doing in the. Well, maybe in a yesterday, yesterday last week or last month or last year or, or many years ago, but uh, another another explanation could be an action that it happened in the past but it's still happening in the present. I think. Okay, I see where you're going. You're there. You're there. What about a lady who can help? Is my internet bad again? No. Okay, so. No, no, no. Okay, now, what have you been doing? If you notice, we have the uh, have you, yes? If I ask you, what are you doing? What tense is that? Present, present continuous. Present continuous, yes. Present, present continuous. Yes, present continuous or present progressive, it's the same thing, good. So I ask you, hey, what are you doing? So that's an action you're doing in this moment. Mm -hmm. When we use have been doing, it's an action that started in the past and continues to the present, like Luis Enrique said. The action started in the past and continues to the present in a continuous form. Example. Oscar, how long have you been working in Tigo? How long? I, I, that was the question. Yes. How long have you been working how long in have, Tigo? Okay. Well, I've been working at Tigo for 13 years. For 13 years. Wow. So I have yeah. been working in... So from 13 years to Tigo. today, you have actively been working in Tigo, right? Good. Yeah. Uh, Alexandra. Hi. Hello, Alexandra. <laughs> Alexandra, you told me you live alone, correct? Yes. How long have you been living alone? I have been living alone around four years now. Around four years, wow, okay, good. Do you understand? So four years ago she started and four years later to this day, she's still doing it. Yes? Uh, Josue Perez, how long have you been selling the beauty supply? Uh, about six months, teacher. Okay, good, but can you answer complete? I have been. Is this year? I have been working in beauty supplies for six months. Good. Good. Okay. So, do you understand? Yes, sir. I yes. understand. Yes. All right, cool. So, that is the expression of I have been. Flor Duran. I think I think we have bad audio. Jasmine, are you there? 
Yes, teacher. How are you, Jasmine? I'm good, thanks. Jasmine, you work from home, correct? Um, no, I am studying. Oh, okay, yeah. What do you study? Um, international relations. Oh, how long have you been studying international relations? Uh, I am studying my first year. Okay, I have been studying for one year. Okay, I have been studying for one year. Good. Now, I want everybody to ask what, what, two questions. Three, actually, three. Yes, for example, listen to this. Maricel, are you there? Hello, teacher. Yes, but I have a lot of problem with my connection. Okay, is it claro? <laughs> yes. Oh. It is. Digo zero. Maybe that's no, the no, reason. Two for two minus two for min two. No, minus <laughs> two, two for claro. No, ¿cómo sería ahí? Yeah, two points for Tigo. No, minus two for. Claro. Minus two for time. Minus two. Okay, um, listen to this. Three questions, simple questions. Maricela, what is your name? My name is Maricela Oviedo. Good. Where do you live? I live in Santo Tomas. How long have you been living in Santo Tomas? I have been living in Santo Tomas for two years very good but i'm born here so so i have been living in santo tomas all my life but i moved for seven years oh okay okay yes okay but did you hear class my three simple questions what is your name where do you live and depending on her answer how long have you been living in santo tomas how long have you okay so Maricela, can you please, can you please ask Francisco Grimaldi? So ask three basic questions, but the last question has to be depending on, on your question, okay? On, on the first two. Okay, okay. To who, teacher? Ah, Francisco. To, yes, please. Hello, Francisco. Hello. Um, how old are you? 32. I'm 32. Okay, where are you where are you where are you from? I'm from El Salvador and live in Santa Tecla. Okay. What had you been what have you been working? Good. I have been working since 2006. Um, what have you been working? It's Excuse correct. Me, but yeah, what or where? What? No. It could be in what? Yes, in what? But you see, but the, um, Maricela, but ask him, okay, what was your first question? Uh, how old are you? How old are you? And your second question, where are you from? Yes. yes. And your third question, it has to oh, be sorry, related. Teacher. It has to yes, be related. Did, yes. Okay. Sorry. No, no, no problem. No problem. Yes. It's okay. And oh, second question: Where are you? Where are you working? Where do you I'm work? Working. Where do you work? Yes. Okay. I work in Tigo. Okay. Um. Oh, 
what have you been doing? How, what have you been working there? No. Teacher? I don't know Please because don't I know. don't know if you want to, you want to ask the time? How long have you been working there? If you want to ask like the oh, occupation, long. what have you been doing there? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. What have you been doing there? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I I have been doing uh, data analyst. No. Yeah. Okay. Good. I have been doing data analyst. Yeah. No. Okay. All right. Good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Marisela. Okay, Francisco. Ask Samuel. Hello, Samuel. Hello. Samuel, are you okay? Are you there? Yes, yes. Hello. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Hey. Where do you live, Samuel? I live in San Jacinto. Samuel, I live in San Jacinto. I live in San Jacinto. Yes, I live in, no. It is separate the words. I live in. I live in San Jacinto. How long have you been living in San Jacinto? I have been, I have been living in San Jacinto all my life. All right, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Samuel. Can you please ask somebody else and no more how long have you been living? Ask different questions. What is your name? Oh, Juan, where do you work, Juan? I work, oh no, I boil me yo. What is your name? <laughs> My name is Juan. Are you married? Yes, I am. How long have you been married? Yes. Um, what is your name? Melissa. Melissa, do you drive? Yes, I do. How long have you been driving? Yes. What is your name? My name is. Leticia, Leticia, what do you do? I am a doctor. How long have you been a doctor? Okay, so let's vary with how long have you been? Okay, so Samuel, ask, ask Luis Enrique, please. Hi, Luis Enrique. Hi, Samuel, how are you? I'm fine. Um, um, what is your occupation? Um, my profession is a financial analyst. Financial analyst. And how do you long time you dedicate to financial analyst? Okay, keep it simple. How long have you been a data analyst? Yeah. Please repeat. How long been? How long have been, you been? Have you been data analyst? Data analyst. analyst. No, it's 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 a it's a final final final. I I have been working uh, like like a financial analyst about. 20 years. Good. Okay. So, Samuel, please repeat the question. How long have you been a financial analyst? How long have you been financial analyst? Financial analyst. Financial analyst. Okay. Fi? Fi? Nan? Nan? Shell. Shell. Finan? Financial. Show. Now say it together. Okay. Financial. Financial. Good. Financial analyst. All right, good. Thank Financial. you. There you go. Good. Thank you. All right, Luis, ask Alexandra Okeno. Alexandra, hello. Hi, Luis. Hello. Hi. Okay. 
Alexandra. Um, um, where do you study right now? Uh, well, I finished my university. I just study English and French. Really? I remember you said uh, you, you are uh, 19 years old. Or I, I hit it. No, I almost <laughs> no, 29, I'm but I wish. <laughs> but thank you. Ah, 29. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That sounds better. Sorry. Like, <laughs> okay. No okay. Um. In, in which um, sorry, I think you have a bad connection connections. Have you been studying in this in this in, in in the university? Sorry, what is the question? Which career? Ah, oh, well, I studied psychology. Uh, uh, university. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, good. Thank you. Can you finish the question, Luis Enrique? Because I I really don't understand which question. Okay. Uh, because uh, because my, my my yes, the internet. My it's last a last question is is how long. How long have you been studying this career? Good. Okay. I graduated in 2015. Five okay. years ago. Thank you. So, so Luis Enrique, your Thank question you. is not correct because she graduated. So actively, no, she's not studying. How many times do you have been? Yes, 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 you're right. How many times do you, how long? you have been doing? I mean, the study, how long? How long I, I finished no. my career? Yes, yes, but how many times do you have been studying? Oh, that okay. Now, now you're changing the topic because your question <laughs> is, how yeah, long yes, yes, I did changed, you changed. study? Yeah, no, it's okay. I understand, but remember, we're mm -hmm. practicing. How long have you? For example, she says she's studying English and French. That's interesting, right there. Ask her a question about French. Okay. French. Oh, how many years do you, have you been studying this this language? Okay, you know that. How many? Excuse me. I'm sorry. How many years? How much time? How how many weeks? Todo. So in a nutshell, how long? That's it. How long oh, have how you? Long? It's, yeah. How long is referred to? Uh, all, all uh, the time. At how, space in, in a tiny, in a, in a, yeah, a quantity of years. Yes. H how long, how long, in, yes. In a nutshell, it's everything. Everything depending on her okay. answer. She will answer days, okay. weeks, okay, years. Uh -huh. Okay. How long have you been studying this, this language? Alexander? Very good. Nice. Okay. Well, I studied French around seven months. Last I have, year, I have been. I have been studying uh, French around seven months last year, and nowadays I just studied by my own. I just okay. practice. Okay. So, in conclusion, oh. I have been studying French cool. for more than a year. Mm, yeah. Okay. Because Alexandra, in this case, you said, "I have been studying French last year for seven months." Desde que dijo last year is simple past. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can say this. I have been studying French for more than one year. Seven okay. years last year in an institution and now on my own. Okay, sounds better. Thank you. Okay. No, no problem. It's okay, cool. So, parlez-vous okay. Francois? Okay, thank yeah, you, Alexandra. Uh, je m'appelle je m'appelle David. Comment allez-vous? Ça va bien. Comment ça va? So let's say. Très bien. To the bank. To the bank. No, that's that's Portuguese. Is Portuguese. No, to the bank is 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 Portuguese, teacher. Yes. I think it's.
the DM, no? No. Yeah. Travian. Travian. Um, Alexandra, French. Travian. When, when does it get complicated in, 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 in numbers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten is normal, correct? Eleven for me because oh. grammar is a pain. Yeah, because I hear that eleven is ten plus one or something, right? I think, but it's really complicated. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mostly because it's really complicated about grammar and about the pronunciation. Yeah. Because it's similar to mm -hmm. Spanish. Yes. And it's easier English, I think. Yeah. I think I think so. yeah. Spanish Spanish maybe is the most complicated language. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Spanish is very complicated. All right, cool. Thank you, Luis Enrique. Thank you, Alexandra. So Luis Enrique, you just say how long. How long is in general? If yes, you want yes. I understand. Yes. Thank you. All right. just to thank you. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you. And Alexandra, please ask Oscar. Okay. So, hi, Oscar. Hello, Alexandra. I didn't hear that, but how long do you work in Tigo? How long have you been working in Tigo? Okay, how long have you been working in Tigo? I've been working in Tigo for 13 years. Okay. And 13 years. Is that your first job? Yeah, it's my first and the and only and only job that I have. I had. All right. Do you have Tigo have. internet and Tigo cell phone? I have everything Tigo. <laughs> 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 Internet, cell phone, uh, well, uh, we call resident, uh, Internet residential and mobile yeah. service. Mm -hmm. Do you have a Tigo tattoo? <laughs> no, no, no. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> no, good. All right. I don't have tattoos. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> You don't have tattoos, okay? Does anybody have tattoos? <laughs> no. You got tattoos? No. Alex, uh, Alexandra no. has one. Oh, you have uh -huh. a tattoo? I imagine Alexandra must have a tattoo. You have a tattoo, Alexandra? Let me, yes, I have let, seven. Seven. Seven tattoos. Let me guess. You have something I'm not too basic. <laughs> cool. I'm sorry. I can do. I'm not too basic, but yes, it's kind of got it. You have some kind of a beautiful woman or fairy tale. I I want to no. No, it's too basic for me. Sorry. So you have like some skulls, devils. No. What do I you? I have, have my cats. I have my cats in my body. Mostly. Oh, your, your cats. Oh, okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. I have an agnostic tattoo, but. So you are an agnostic? Yes. Mm. Well, just... What does that mean? Agnostic. It means, it means many things. <laughs> um, some people think, do you know what atheist is? Atheist? Atheist. Yes. Atheist. Ateo. Yes. Ah, okay. But atheist is like somebody who doesn't believe in anything, nothing. Uh -huh. Agnostic is you believe in something but not God. But, but th there's many different types of that. That's what I. Yeah, yeah. I, is. There's many. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's I understand. True. Yeah, but some people, like atheists, is you don't believe in anything, nothing. So I don't think it's logical to be atheist. And I have been agnostic since, oh, I said otra, since. Uh, this is it's another level, teacher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It's a... It's a rocker level. They always <laughs> rocker. think on, only in pressures. 
rocker and metal level level. Yes. No. <laughs> I I think I think I have been agnostic uh, since since I will I will explain to you that right now. Since I was twelve or thirteen, I think. When I started to read about world history. So I Oh man, I have yeah, problems. Yeah. I have problems in my family because I am the black sheep. I am a satanic. <laughs> but you know, it's okay. <laughs> uh sense. Do you know what is sense? That's the when it started. How this sense. How how do you pronounce pronounce ah, pronounce sense since, since. since? I I since. hear since since sense 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 okay. sense like sense on sensibility. No, pronounce the yeah, but I would I this sense. this actually you pronounce more the I the since sense okay sense since so okay. for example oscar you have been working in tigo 13 years or you have been working in tigo since since 2007 2007 good wow 2007 seems like yesterday in 17 years <laughs> nice long time ago yes it is like I, it was yesterday yeah yeah it's like yesterday <laughs> It's true. And um, in El Salvador, we have been in quarantine since? March. March. 23, I think. March, March 23. 23. March. Yeah, since March. March 23. That's incredible. It's incredible. Wow. And wait next Almost week. all the year. Oh, yeah. Um, Wait for next week. Monday, después de Monday, cuenten tres semanas for boom. <laughs> no, in tres semanas, or we do good, yeah. we continue, or we do bad. Maybe, maybe for for four weeks. Yeah, don't, maybe four don't weeks. Be pessimist, pessimist, don't be pessimist. No, 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 I am not. I am not. But, <laughs> no, no, that, that's that's why I'm saying in in three or four weeks, or we do good and we continue, or we do bad. But the, the results of Monday will be in three or four weeks. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes, so I, can, hope, we, I hope it's good. We can see the impact before, uh, after three, four, five weeks. Yeah, but you know, um, a lot of people are more conscious, so I think, a lot of precaution now, so it's good. Yeah. I hope I hope we continue. It's good. Okay, class, very good. Thank you, thank you very much, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. See you okay. tomorrow. Okay. Bye. 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 Have a good night. Thank you.